if you've had a stressful week and you need something to help you unwind, go grab your vibe juice. Meet me back here in the comic book and let's talk about some comic books. It's all good, man. Don't worry. What's up, everybody? It's your boy C3, and I am back with another top 10 list and market update for you. Yes, for you, the comic book community. Back like I never left. All right, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I hope you got your vibe juice because you already know what it is. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. We are only here for the love of the hobby. I got another dope top 10 list that I want to share with you guys. Comic books that you may want to try to get your hands on. You might not like any of them, but I will allow you to make that informed decision. All right? So at the list at number 10, my friends, we have a book that's not just hot, it's also a key. We want to talk about Weapon X, issue number one, the Mark Brooks headshot. Absolutely. And these books have been flying off the shelf. This is the first full appearance of Jane Howliff, right? First full appearance. So just so everybody knows. Now, this book is actually a strike while the iron is cold book. This book is currently down right now at 1.20% um, since its release. And it continues to just like slow down a little bit, which in my opinion is a great opportunity to buy. All right. Average price for a raw copy is $27. Last recorded sale for this book was $36 for a raw copy. Because this is such a new book, there is no graded information on this just yet. All right. We've had a total of nine sales thus far and with a high sale of $39 for a raw copy that was in near mint condition as that was back on March 5th. So the beautiful thing about this book is fair market value has it resting at $27 for a raw copy in near mint condition. So if you're in the market for this particular book, Weapon X, issue number one, keep your eye on it because it's moving. Those Mark Brook headshots are going to be a theme for the next up and coming couple of weeks uh, in terms of Marvel Comics, all right? So keep your eye out on it. At the list at number nine, ladies and gentlemen, all my Star Wars fans, stand up because this book is for you, all right? Let's talk about Star Wars, Thrawn, Alliances, issue number two. <laughs> yes, definitely. This is the 1 in 25 Linnell Francis Yu variant, right? And this book has been hot for a few weeks now. Um, this book is up 9.74% with the average price for a raw copy being $42. Now, the last recorded sale for this book was $66, my friends. And there again, because it is a fairly new book, there is no graded information on this book, which is okay because people need time to send these in to uh, get them graded, right? And that information will come back to us. And if it does, I promise you, I'll share that information with you. There has been 24 total sales on this particular book so far with a high sale of $66, like I said earlier. And that was for a near mint copy. And that was back on March 8th. Now, fair market value has this book resting at $42 for a raw copy in near mint condition. Now, Throne Alliances issue number two is an excellent read. I read it. I've um, had a lot of fun with it, continue to just enjoy what they're doing when they're flushing out this Star Wars franchise, bringing in all these new characters, and it's just exciting to know that uh, Star Wars is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. So if you're in the market for Star Wars, Thrawn Alliances, issue number two, it's definitely on the move, all right? And speaking of moving, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, because every time I make a new video... You guys will get that notification and you won't miss out on these top 10 lists that I be putting out each week. All right. I do it for the love. I do it for the culture. And yes, I do it for the community, baby. <laughs> it's all good, man. Good vibes only. I hope you got your vibe juice because I definitely got mine. It's going to be a good day. All right. Now, at the list at number eight, we have to talk about the man thing, issue number one, the newsstand edition. Absolutely. Now, this is a hot book, ladies and gentlemen. And if you guys have read this particular book, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know. This book is definitely hot. It is down 
Yes, another strike why the iron is cold moment. For those of you who've been looking to add this to your collection or maybe grab this book as a filler, it is now down. It is a perfect opportunity to get your hands on this book. 21%, all right? Average price for a raw copy is just $18. Great price point for buy-in. Average graded copy will run you about $85. Last recorded sale was the $18 that I just mentioned to you. We've had a total of 1,325 books that has changed hands on the secondary market with a, a high sale of $300 for CGC 9.8. And that took place back in 2022. And as you know, I just like the, the, the average graded copy is down. So you may not have to spend $300 for a 9.8 for this particular book in this climate and atmosphere right now. So definitely take a look at it. Fair market value has it resting at $18 for a raw copy in near mint condition. And again, I say, I'm the type of person I like to shop wisely. I don't want to pay top dollar for a book if I don't have to. I will if I have to, but if I don't have to, I'm definitely looking to get it at a little lower cost, right? And that way I can save money and put it toward the next comic book. So if you're in the market for the man thing, issue number one, keep your eye out on this book because it is moving on the second day market. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at the list at number seven, it's a superhero you love to hate, right? <laughs> She's the most powerful superhero in the Marvel Universe, according to Kevin Feige. <laughs> yeah, we got to talk about your girl, Miss Marvel, issue number one. And this is the first appearance at first appearance and origin of Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers. <laughs> I'm tongue tied. I can't even get it out. It's so funny, right? I was shocked when he said, oh yeah, she, and, and she's the most powerful superhero in the Marvel universe. What? Are you kidding me? What? But you know how it goes. Gotta sell a movie, right? Now, this book is up 50%. Yes, this is a 50% increase, right? So, who knew? <laughs> Average price for a raw copy is $27. Average price for the graded copy is $130. But the last recorded sale for this book was $50, and that was for a CGC 7.0. There's a total of 4,382 copies of this book that has sold on the secondary market, with a high sale of 3,950 for near mint CGC 9.8 that sold back in 2018. All right? So just keep this in mind. I will definitely not be paying three thousand dollars for a Miss Marvel comic book, right? Almost four grand. Um, but fair market value has this book resting at twenty-seven dollars for a raw copy in very fine condition. I like the Miss Marvel comic book, but I'm not too sure. I like how she's been being portrayed on the big screen. I think she could have a little more uh, spirit to her. You know what I mean? I think she can have a little more personality. I would love to see someone get in there and really just flush this character out and make her not just likable, but lovable, right? All right, so if you're in the market for Ms. Marvel issue number one, it's moving, ladies and gentlemen, so keep your eye out on it. On the list at number six, right? This is another strike while the iron is cold moment. And remember what I tell you, a book doesn't have to be up in sales just for it to be hot. A book can be down, right? It could have decreased in copies sold, making it a perfect opportunity to buy, therefore making it a hot book <laughs> or cover, whatever your reason for wanting to buy it, right? Let's talk about The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 361, and this is the first full appearance of your boy Carnage. It's going to be Carnage. Yes, absolutely, right? Now, this book has gone up and down over the past couple of years, considering how the movie came out. Once it dropped, people were excited. They saw the movie. They became unexcited. So this book started to decrease in sales. Uh, it started to, like, the, 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 the value of the book started to drop a little bit. And now when I look back and I see it, I say, yo, I'm just going to wait for this book to come down because it's going to be an opportunity to grab a copy, right? And I was 100% correct. This book is down 4.67%. Average price for a raw copy, just $87. Average price for a graded copy is $165. I remember when this book went up to like $800, $900 in the CGC 9.8. Um, we have a total of 6,065 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Now, 
2,841 of those are slabs. Yeah, so a lot of graded copies changing hands right now with a high sell of $1,600 for CGC 9.8, and that was back in 2021. As I said, I remember when this book was really, really up in value. So for this book to be where it is right now, it's definitely a perfect opportunity to get your hands on it if you're a Carnage fan. Or if you love Amazing Spider-Man and you're missing this book and need to add it to your collection to fill that spot, listen, man, you can't go wrong. Average price for the graded copy, $165, all right? And keep in mind, if that's still too much that, that you don't want to pay, Fair Market Value has this book resting at $86 for the raw copy in, a, in near mint condition, all right? So Strike While the Iron is Cold, Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 361 is, is up for the grabs, all right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the halfway mark. So allow me to do what I always do, which is take this time to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and checking out this channel. And thank you for making this channel one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube. I really appreciate you. I'm your boy C3. Whenever you stop by, just know it's good vibes only. We are not here for the nonsense. This is a friendly channel. This is a positive channel. This is a place where you can come, sip a little vibe juice, whatever your choice is, I don't judge, I don't discriminate, and we enjoy the love of the hobby together. I do it for the love, <laughs> I do it for the culture, baby. I don't get anything, I'm not asking for anything, I just like to do what I do. It gives me an opportunity to take time, free my mind, research comic books, and then share that information with you. Top 10 list, I love it. And I hope you do too. So hit that like, hit that subscribe, and definitely ring that bell. So every time I drop a video, you guys will be the first one to get that notification. And now, let's talk about your trivia question. You got your thinking caps on? Because what I need to know from you this week, and leave it in the comment section. I know a lot of you just want to shout it out over the screen, but leave your comments in the comment section. And tell me, according to Marvel, and that's your hint, according to Marvel... What does MLF stand for? <laughs> what does MLF stand for? Leave it in the comment section. I know. I know. Just, just drop it in the box. <laughs> All right. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate each and every one of you. And now, back to the list. At number five. We're going to talk about some DC, a DC book right now, all right? This book is from DC, and we have to talk about Infinite Crisis, issue number three, and this is the Jim Lee regular cover. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the first appearance of Jaime Reyes, who later becomes the Blue Beetle. Now, this book was up a little bit before they dropped the movie. It's starting to come down, right? But it's still up. So this book is up 68.73%. I enjoyed the movie. It doesn't matter to me what everybody else is talking about because I'm my own person. Are you your own person? Because I'm definitely my own person. I enjoyed the movie. George Lopez and the crew, they did a great job at selling this on the big screen. I had a lot of fun. I laughed. I, <gasps> I did all the above, man. So I had a great time with it. Average price for a raw copy, $16. Average price for a graded copy, $225. I think this book is definitely PC worthy. Last recorded sale for this book was $30, and that was for a raw copy. All right. With the we've had 630 total sales that have sold this far on the secondary market. And there was a high sale that took place for a CGC 9.8 back in 2022 when this book sold for $300. Yes, my friends. $300. So if you have that to spare, this is definitely a book worth taking a look at. Uh, fair market value has it resting at $16 for a raw copy in near mint condition. I enjoyed it. Looking forward to the next installment. I hope DC does another one. It was definitely a good movie. And But Infinite Crisis is also an awesome book. Infinite Crisis, issue number three. It's up for the grabs, ladies and gentlemen. If you need one, get yourself one. All right, guys. On the list for the first time, at number four, we have to talk about Transformers, issue number eight, and this is the direct edition. 
oh man, I, I couldn't wait to get to this particular book because I've been a Transformer fan all my life, right? First we had the GoBots, then we had the Transformers. Transformers bumped the GoBots up out of there. And listen, they've been doing their thing ever since, right? This is the first full appearance of the Dinobots. <laughs> yes, remember when the Dinobots first came on the scene? Now, this book is up a crazy 91.83%. Ever since they dropped that trailer, I mean, dropped that uh, little hint at the end of the movie, this book has been going up, up, up. All these books, all the installments of, of Transformers have been going up, slowly increasing. This one is up 91.83%. Average price for a raw copy right now is $14 for this particular book. Average price for the graded copy is $312, which I still don't see that as, 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 a, 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 a total wipeout because $312 if you can save a couple of dollars a week you can still get your hands on this book right now total sales for this book has been 695 copies that has changed hands on the secondary market last recorded sale for this book was just $21 for a raw copy we had a high sale of 606 oh, excuse me of $465 for CGC 9.8 that took place back in 2022 Fair market value has this book resting at $14 for the raw copy in fine condition. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I said it before, I'll say it again. This is the first time I've had this book on the list, but it may not be the last time. If you're in the market for the Transformers issue number eight, the direct edition, watch out because it's moving. At the list at number three, let's talk about X-Men issue number five. All right, now, this is the first appearance of Maverick. Definitely, yo. Maverick is such an awesome character. I had to put him on the list. This book continues to impress me as I watch the numbers increase on the secondary market, right? This is a, he's a member of Weapon X program. And, uh, this guy is able to take, he's able to absorb kinetic, kinetic energy and then turn it into like a, 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 a stream of energy that comes from his hands. He shoots it from his hands. And yo, this dude is powerful. So, I'm looking forward to possibly seeing this character soon on the big screen. Like, we don't know who they're going to put on the big screen. And I and I assume, but you know what they say about people who assume, but I believe that that's why all these X-Men books are spiking this particular time because we don't know who they're going to, who we're going to see. And the way Marvel's moving, they're being very unpredictable right now. We can all speculate, but none of us really know, right? So these books are moving. Now, Maverick is a great character. I love the book. I love the story. It's up 92.86%. Average price for a raw copy right now is $11. Yes, $11. Average price for the graded copy is $89. I love these price points, right? There's been a total of 1,889 sales for this book on the secondary market with a high sale of $300 for a CGC 9.8 that took place back in 2021. Fair Market has this book resting at $11 for the raw book in very fine condition. Maverick, excellent character, definitely worth your time, definitely worth the read. And if you want to, you may want to add it to your PC. I'll let you decide that. All right. Keep your eye out for X-Men issue number five. And don't forget, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. What does MLF stand for, according to Marvel? Because <laughs> we could go anywhere with that one, but we want to keep it in the Marvel Universe. What does MLF stand for? And make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate you. My, my name is C3. This is your top 10 list and market update. I drop them weekly. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. It'll really help us out. All right. Now, we've got an unexpected piece of history on the Hot 10 list this week. All right. All right. From First Amendment Publishing, we have to talk about, I call it, Grungy Comics issue number one. Right. And the reason is the Kurt Cobain story. Right. The American musician who was mysteriously murdered. Yes. Remember him? Kurt Cobain. If you're familiar with him, leave a comment down below. He's definitely well known in the hood. All right. Yeah, definitely. So we, we love Kurt Cobain. All right. Now, this book is up 3.41%. Average price for a raw copy, $60. Average price for a graded copy, 
$75. Now, there's a total of 53 sales that have changed hands on the secondary market with a high sale of $102 for a raw copy that was in near mint condition as that was back in March 6th, right? Now, this individual's death still remains a mystery. And I would love to have this in my comic book collection, which is why I put it on the list because it's actually a book that I believe I'm going to go after myself. If I can land it for a decent price, I'm definitely gonna get myself a nice copy and add it to my PC, all right? Now, Fair Market Value has this book resting at $60 for a raw copy in near mint condition. I have to just think about what I need what I, what, and the type of grade that I'm trying to get it in, and then I'll, I'll go after it. But this is definitely a book that I'm thinking about adding to my collection. Uh, again, the Grungy Comics issue number one, the Kurt Cobain story. It's moving on the secondary market, ladies and gentlemen. A piece of American history, unsolved mystery. Yes, keep your eye out on it because it's moving on the secondary market. All right, my friends, we have made it. <laughs> yes, you you made it. We have made it to the number one comic book on the market, right? And since you made it this far, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you some comic books that I picked up for New Comic Book Day that you may be interested in. Nothing crazy, but yet again, books that I enjoy reading, maybe a couple of hot covers that you just might be interested in. So thank you for hanging around. Like, subscribe, share, and let's talk about Fantastic Four, issue number 44. And this is the first appearance of Gorgon, Black Bolt's Bodyguard. <laughs> yes, this book is up a whopping 390.94% with the average price for a raw copy being $30. Average price for a graded copy is $384. Now, there's been a total of 919 sales for this book so far on the secondary market. 1,250 universal grades according to CGC. According to Go Collect, 1,250 universal grades are on the Go Collect census, right? So I had to add that just to give you uh, some some understanding of how many books that this that how many hot 9.8s are out there. If you want to get your hands on this book, you have a total of 12 9.8s. You have. 48 9.6s. You have 127 9.4s, 123 9.2s, and 124 9.0s, right? Now, according to cover price, fair market value has this book resting at $30 for the raw copy in very good condition. But we had a high sale that took place back in 2015 where cgc 9.8 sold for two thousand six hundred and twenty nine dollars now when you compare that to go collect a uh, 9.8 was last sold for two thousand two hundred and eighty eighty dollars and that was in 2021 so you decide how much money you're willing to spend for this particular book but fantastic four for issue number 44 the first appearance of gorgon which is Black Bolt's uh, bodyguard, you decide because it's moving on the secondary market. It's a hot book and it's definitely worth some attention. All right. Now, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging out. And just like I promised, if you hung out this long, I'm going to show you some comic books that I picked up for New Comic Book Day. All right. And we're going to start off with DC and we're going to talk about, well, I'll show you Batman issue number 42. And this one is written by Sadarsky, Chip Sadarsky. And this is uh, The Joker. Year one, part one. Yeah. Just a dope cover, man. I, I just got it for the cover. You, you really can't pass up Joker covers. Especially one like this. It, this, this is his insanity at his best. <laughs> right? From Star Wars, I grabbed Mace Windu. This is issue number two. Solicitation of some first appearances in here. Uh, for Marvel, I grabbed issue number two of Ultimate Black Panther. 
and I'm dying to read this book, man. I definitely got to jump on this ASAP because it, it definitely had a cliffhanger that I, I couldn't, I would even listen. This is the one right here to read if you guys need something to read. Read this. I love the direction that they're going with the new Black Panther. Uh, also from Marvel, I grabbed the Ultimate Black Panther issue number one, and this is the second printing. Absolutely. I grabbed Weapon X, issue number one, and this is that Mark Brooks headshot. Yeah, these joints were flying off the shelves last week. So if you can sit, find one out there on the shelf, grab it. I also grabbed Wolverine, uh, and this is issue number 45, and another headshot. I like this one. Fire. I grabbed that What If Venom. Yeah, Wolverine. Definitely dope. From Dark Horse, I grabbed Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, and this is issue number four. Star Wars fans, man, they're doing great. So if you're if you're if you're Star Wars uh oriented, so do everything from Star Wars, Darth Vader, the High Republics, High Republic's Revengers, like yo, they're all awesome reads, man. They're all awesome reads. Can't go wrong. There's just so much going on, man. Like they're, 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 it's like it's like a, a, a big movie all over again. All right, Fall of the House of X. This is issue number three. Yeah, new comic book day. Had a lot of interesting books out there, so I made sure I grabbed them. This is book four of Avengers Twilight, also being written by Chip Zdarsky. Definitely. All right. I grabbed Star Wars, Darth Vader, issue number 44. And a couple books that I had in my pull box. I have X-Men. I have the Ultimate X-Men, and this is issue number one, Peach Momoko cover. Yeah, these ultimates are doing really well. I gotta read this one. And I picked up uh, Ultimate Black Panther issue number one. This is the one in 10. And you guys know that this is actually doing pretty good on the secondary market, but it's also a great read. Yep. And last, but definitely not least, I grabbed this is an oldie but goodie. This is one of those sleeper hits that you just grab it and just put it aside and forget about it, right? This is The War of the Realms, The New Agents of Atlas. This is issue number two, and I grabbed that second print, that second print with Wave. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like, subscribe, share. Don't remember. <laughs> remember your trivia question. What does MLF stand for in the Marvel Universe? All right? So make sure you remember to leave that comment down below. Thank you for stopping by checking out the channel. I'm your boy C3. It's good vibes only. And always keep it comics. I'll see you guys next video.